I travel to Florida in the winter. How does that affect my Medicare? Okay, mom, that was a great question. And I know my mom has that question dear and near to her heart because my mom and dad like to go down to Florida and spend a couple months every winter and get out of Indiana. And believe me, I miss them when they're gone and I'm super jealous. If you go to Florida and you have a Medicare Advantage plan, it really matters what type you have. Do you have an HMO or a PPO? The main difference is the network. If you have an HMO network, almost universally, you have to go to the doctors in that network. And that means you need to stay home because your network typically is in an area around where you live. And it doesn't give you any ability to go out of network. So if you go to Florida for two weeks or two months in the winter, you're out of network. Now, you have to pay everything that happens to you if you get sick in Florida. If you're one of those people that travels regularly out of your area, get off your HMO. If I have a choice between an HMO and a PPO, I would always choose the PPO as long as I could afford it. Again, it costs more. It's more flexible because it allows you to go out of network. So if I go to Florida, Arizona, Tennessee, Ohio, anywhere out of my normal area, I could go to doctors that accept my plan, even though they're not in the network, and I would just be charged a higher fee. So it would be a higher copay, a higher out-of-pocket maximum, but I can still get care through my insurance plan. So if you travel a lot, if you, I'm using Florida as a shortcut, but if you travel out of your immediate area and you're on an HMO, you need to have a long talk with us, uh, the agent that sold it to you and ask why they sold it to you. Maybe you demanded it. Yeah, I see that with agents. They're like, I want this plan because I saw a TV commercial and it had zero monthly premium. Well, that's not a reason to buy a plan. You need to understand the network. The network is more important than the premium or the benefits. That's why I always ask people, what's your health? What are your drugs? What's your family situation? Do you travel? And people always go, why do you care if I travel? This is why. Now, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan and any letter, A, B, C, D, E, J, J, blah, 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 allows you to go all over the country. You need to think about that because you don't have to worry, is it in the network? Is it out of the network? Will they accept my plan with a Medicare supplement? You have all that flexibility. Yes, you pay for that flexibility. A Medicare supplement costs more. I'm not saying a Medicare supplement is better than a PPO or a PPO is better than an HMO. Actually, I think I did say that, but I don't mean that. It depends on you. If your circumstances change, like say you inherited a beach house in Texas when your great aunt died, now you're gonna be going down to Texas regularly, maybe you need to get off that HMO and move to a PPO. You are able to do that regardless of your health during certain enrollment periods of the year. If you decide you wanna to go to a Medicare supplement because you got a big inheritance from that aunt and now you wanna be able to travel all the time all around the country, then you will have to be able to pass underwriting questions. They're gonna ask you a lot of health questions that you may or may not qualify to get up to a Medicare supplement, but you can always go from HMO to a PPO. If you have more questions, call our family, the Medicare family. There's a lot of us here that are willing to help you. Our consultations are free. Email us, call us, text us, any way you wanna contact us, and we'll be happy to help.